This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the Met Gala because really what happened inside the Met Gala is just as unbelievable as what I showed you yesterday on the outside of the Met Gala. As you saw, the high-ranking Kabbalah witch Madonna appeared, and you could see Madonna on the red carpet wearing this black, you know, satanic witch dress with all the crosses on it, just more blasphemy, more mocking of Christians. And again, like I said yesterday, if this was to take place, if we were all to arrange an event where we made fun of Satanists, or, you know, where we mocked the LGBT, we'd be thrown in prison. Or if we had an event where we, you know, discussed or mocked, you know, this certain event that occurred over in Germany or, you know, Bagelville, oh, forget about it. You'd be, you'd probably be crucified, or, you know, or killed right on the spot. But they're allowed to do this and get away with it. And all of these Satanists get the, go there together to mock Jesus Christ. And nobody seems to care. The only backlash is oh, some people posting on Twitter or Fox News pretending to be all Christian. You get, you get Mitt Romney as if it's not enough already. This guy's a Mormon. So we already know what, you know, Mormonism, another religion of Freemasonry, another branch of Freemasonry, just like Jehovah's Witness. He shows up there. And it's just like people actually think that this guy is Christian and this guy believes in Jesus and that there's a, such a thing as a left and a right. The whole event was a mockery of Jesus Christ and worshiping of the Vatican. And this guy's there like like as if, and you know, oh, nothing's wrong with this. Nothing's weird about it. Hello, everyone. I'm at the Met Gala. Huh? I mean, what's he even doing there? But let's take a look at some of the other stuff that was going on inside. Now, you saw the clip of Madonna. OK, and people will say, well, those were Buddhist monks or, oh, yeah, sure. I mean, we got the Druids inside. They were they were speaking in chants. Obviously, some type of ritual was performed inside. You know, anytime Madonna's there and involved and doing stuff like that, which is blasphemous and mocking of God, you know that they're that they're on the inside of these places underground doing all types of rituals. That's why they gather together. Okay, look at the people who are here and see and – wouldn't you ask yourself, what is the connection between these people? You have famous athletes, famous musicians, famous actors, politicians, right? You have Elon Musk there. What is he doing there? Hanging around with George Clooney and Rihanna? Anybody suspicious of that? I mean we all know what a, what a hoax – you know, SpaceX and NASA and all this crap is. I mean we all saw the charade that SpaceX tried to pull off around Christmas time. Where they shot the rocket that just went up and went right down. And then, you know, they claim that they're testing and flying into sp into space. All this nonsense, right? What a coincidence all these people just happen to get together. Who's who of, of, of powerful people, right? And the sheep out there don't go, wait a minute. Why are all these people connected? Why, how are they all, like, you know, attending and getting invited? You know, it's like the spectrum is so wide of, of you know, from politicians to Elon Musk to, you know, to, to Wiz Khalifa. I mean, really? You know, you get all these people in the same room at the same event. People are just like, oh, you know, well, you know why? Because it's just, it's really just like one gigantic incestual orgy because most of these people are related to one another and they all screw around with each other. You're right. And that's why these celebrities marry other celebrities and things like that. It's because they keep the bloodlines intact. That's how it's been since Egypt. So, speaking of Egypt, here you could see, just if you need a good laugh, of course, you can see. Kim Kardashian, and even the article talks about the devil, right, standing in front of this Egyptian tomb. I mean, how many times do I need to talk about how this really goes back to e ancient Egypt, right? This goes back to Babylon worship. Okay, these people believe that they're these Egyptian gods reborn. There's a reason that they worship a book called the Book of the Dead. It's the Egyptian Book of the Dead, which is a book filled with spells, which enable pe uh, enables the soul, at least this is what they believe, of the deceased to navigate the afterlife. Okay, the text which consists of magic spells intended to assist a dead person's journey through the underworld and into the afterlife. Well, let me assist you because all these all these Satanists who show up at these events and follow the Book of the Dead, and then of course they try to mock us like we're crazy, like they don't read these things. I mean, it's a complete joke, but they believe that they could navigate their souls in the afterlife. Well, I'll assist you if you need navigation. I have no problem punting you all into the abyss. No problem. On Judgment Day when the trumpets sound, I'd be honored if I was allowed to at least clothesline one of these people into hell. That'd be great. It would make everything that I've done in my life worthwhile. Uh, the Book of the Dead um, 
also exists of what is known as the coffin text, the pyramid text. So you can see Kim Kardashian, of course, posing in front of it. She's got the cross on and the gold, right? The Egypt. I mean, remember gold in Egypt. I mean, these people are obsessed with gold. They do gold leafing on one another. Like I showed you with Marina Bromovich, who, by the way, I'm sure was there, but you can't find any pictures of Marina or any articles that says she's there. She's probably just hiding because she's been getting, you know, her name run through the mud since people figured out who this witch really is. And you could see other celebrities here, you know, standing in front of these Egyptian hieroglyphics and, and posing and taking photos because that's what this is. You know, you see people in their black and white Masonic colors, right? You see the black and white dresses. Then you see people like Sarah Jessica Parker. I mean, anybody wanted to – I mean, this this is like – we live in a world where this is normal. Look at this person. I mean, not only does she look like she's been run over with a tractor trailer a few times, what has she got on her head? I mean, if people think this stuff is normal, this is just all satanic crap that they, they get away with because they say it's in the name of art. You know, you get this other guy. Uh, what is his name? I can't think of it off the top of my head. Who has been – he is getting pushed – in the mainstream massively, okay, massively. The childish Gambino, so he likely made a major sacrifice to suddenly become so famous, hanging around, you know, here's this woman in the black and white clothing. Again, I showed you Rihanna yesterday wearing the, you know, the Pope hat. You can actually, if you stare into that, you can see what almost looks like a ram's head in the top of it. Of course, Jared Leto, you know, dressed up, pretending to be Jesus. And, you know, for the people who want to say it's Caesar, I mean, boy, you know, some people just don't, you know, a mocking of Jesus is what it is, okay? Because this is the image that people perceive Jesus to be, okay? So it's a mocking of Jesus. It doesn't matter, you know, if you want to sit here and you want to debate and say, well, he's really mocking Caesar. Great. I mean, is that your way of just saying that you don't care about somebody mocking the king of kings? I mean, this is what it sounds like to me. You get the Olsen twins look cracked out of their minds there. And again, I'm, I'm only going through this because you can see the Druids inside and some of this footage of the, the Druid monks, right? And you saw the clip earlier where they were you know, singing and chanting as Madonna pretty much strips her clothes off. I'm surprised everybody there didn't projectile vomit when she showed up. I mean, what is she, 90 now? But this is, this is the stuff they get away with. And if this was anybody else... If this was any other, you know, if this whole thing was a mockery of, like I said, you know, Buddhism or, uh, you know, the Quran, if they were mocking Muslims, forget about it, right? But they can get away with doing this stuff to us and then they can silence us and say that everything that we say is hate speech, everything in the Bible is hate speech. It's a joke. It's an absolute, utter joke. You get some of these, you know, and for those of you who love transvestigations, this place was filled with trainees, okay? You get, you know, the... The woman with the halo with Saturn worship on her head. I mean, you know, people see this stuff and like they don't blink. They're just like, oh, interesting fashion sense. I mean, hello, anybody looking at these people and what freaks they are? I mean, look at this, the Saturn worship right in front of you. And people just they would just brush over and say, Oh, very interesting. You got, you know, the other Satanists who show up, like, you know, George Clooney. I pointed this woman out yesterday. I mean, just take a look at this and tell me this is normal. You know, she's wearing a mask over her face of all sorts of, like, ribbons and stuff. I mean, and these are the people that they worship. You know, they want us to worship. And the masses out there do worship. And then when we talk and point this stuff out, they just say, oh, you're a hater because you wish you were famous. No, not at all. I wouldn't blink if I saw these people on the streets. Wouldn't care one bit. Could care less about them. Don't want fame. Don't want attention. Okay, I'm uncomfortable enough with my channel with the attention that it gets. I don't like it and I don't, you know, I don't do this because I want fame and attention like these losers do. You could see Jaden Smith there as well throwing up the devil horns, no surprise. He's probably wearing a dress that his parents bought for him since, you know, he likes to do all that stuff. So, again, inside of here you have just Egyptian worship. You had Madonna performing, you know, performing a song, but really it was performing a ritual. You get the monks coming out. They're really just these satanic druids. Right. And the whole entire thing is a spectacle to spit in the face of Jesus Christ, because that's all that they care about doing is mocking our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is stuff that needs to be pointed out because it's time to start fighting back. OK, it's time to start going, you know what? We're not going to take this crap anymore. You're not going to silence us. You're not going to take away our right to free speech while you could run around mocking us. And we can't say anything about someone who's gay because that's hate speech. But this isn't. Give me a break. The time is now to start pushing back against these scumbags because that's what they really, truly are, scumbags. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you.
and your families.